Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're into A5 of Wilson. Today the goal is to progress through the endgame, try and get to the final boss. Finally, I remember try and fill this meter, so just like kind of smash these missions, I guess, because there's an issue I'm having, and that is gold. And I can spend gold on these area mods to get rarity and stuff but then i don't have enough money to do these upgrades including the ones like for the quest so i'm gonna have to get money somehow and i guess i'll continue leveling up along the way i guess trying to figure out what i want to do with this next i should grab this node for sure behind the slurring flames extra attack speed there it goes to 50 so that's five percent attack speed and more leech it's good i also have this map thing I needed to see what that does we got precious jewels last time too two percent attack speed how much does it cost to reroll sockets six thousand for removal or sixty to reroll so not enough so I would, I'd have to get an offensive one to use this for the attack speed. If I right click this. No. Use this item in the ward table interface to start. This is the ward table. I can't open my inventory here. I don't know. Could do a headhunt. I don't know if I can use that and I just have to run it. Hey, Boston. Really easy. I got a unique Warhammer freeze weapon. So I didn't get much from that. I do have a lot more gold now though. I don't need this unique. Okay. Now I can remove these. All right. And then re-roll these. Ooh, one, three, two. Two doesn't help me like in any way. I'm going to re-roll it. Price isn't going up, so. Two offensive ones is really good. It already has toxic damage on it, though. Hmm, sure. I actually just want to increase the damage on it. Elite enemies will take longer to you up here during Aramon's fight. I unlocked. Okay, maybe I did have a project going. That's cool. I don't have enough for those. That one. Or the bank. It unlocks secret expeditions. I'm interested. It leaves me with 25k. Yeah, I can grab something out of here. Primordial shelters. Go. Wrath of Sorry Cell. Want that. And I can put three mods on this. Should I? Additional boss mod. Yeah, that'll make things more interesting. Underlings, movement speed, ailment damage resistance is free. Okay, easy enemy there. So some untainted mine sealers spawned. Some sorry cell enemy. Okay, another one spawned. Easy enough. Level 49. Okay, I want toughness. And on here, I want this attack speed. Oh, another guy spawned. They have voice lines too when they spawn. Here's the boss. Well. Grenades do a lot. What about those? Oh, you move. And the grenades are taking care of it. Easy. Open chest. Oh, this is the one with a victory screen. Cool. And it shows little stuff under my face here that I gained from that. Health plus two ailment stacks. That seems really good. Rage generation. Health. This is a really good belt. And then all of these items. Cool. And there's a trade shrine here too. Cool. And then afterwards, I get a bunch more gold. Whoa. Oh, the one on the right. Ugh, the ones I have. Okay, those are really good. I should upgrade those. Reroll. Remove. Add. Can you put sockets on boots? Nope. No sockets on boots. Okay, so I just use this then. These plus one effect. Chance for movement speed. Chance for attack speed. Health regen. Resource gen. Stamina point. It's like anything is good here. Absolutely. Resource generation is what I got. Okay. okay. So I'm these things are done. I can take a map here. I want the rare one. I still don't know how to use this. Oh, maybe I, I just unlock that. Who knows? Seekers garrison. Loot received gold. Heavy armor. Catalysts. Gold. Doesn't cost much. And it gives me gold. And I take another one of these. Toward the palace. Okay, there's another lieutenant. That didn't go as well as I would have liked last time. But it might do stuff. I, I want to try it again. I felt like I had it last time. I want to weaken this skill. And it's a level of 65. Just litter the place with the mines. Whoa, snipers. And a mortar beast. Powerful health potion? Give me that. Oh, I got hit by the ability. Ow! How did I die? It's quick. Wow. Did not dodge whatever that was. I wonder if that causes like a debuff on me or something. This guy is still alive. Oh, ow. Eight weakness I have. Okay, that finally got him. Okay, that one was not as crazy. All right, but now I have a rare enemy out here. And I got hit by that. Okay, Alistair down. Nope, almost. Okay, now to the pacified exoskeleton. Okay, I got a good rain off. I got another good one. Another good one. He's getting close. I've done a fairly good job at dodging the Arimon attack. There we go. Should be dead. Got it. Legendary Sorcerer Gauntlets. Better health potion. Does 6,000 HP over 2,400? Yes, please. Catalyst with spell damage, spell crit, spell speed, bleed damage, ailment chance, bleeding edge, 
that is insane the little 65 legendary crazy so many items to pick up i think these lieutenants is the highest tier content i have access to at the moment okay there's a bunch of items with the yellow icon here this one has block efficiency on it maximum ailment stacks attack crit chance health regen and something that's coded in here wrong i guess rage cost percent reduced like rage cost reduction maybe this catalyst though is crazy all right that did not do anything for my projects and up here now there's an icon this has moved further I need a vendor items and then we go next 81 dodge on shoulders wow i need level 50 neither of my shoulders have dodge on them this is an insane find i got more of these rubies or the precious gems um none of these are crazy this one has the red icon i might do a mandate i think this one's really fast no this is actually in a map so I should get good experience in here should get the level oh definitely getting the level there we go level 50 okay i want more toughness and then on here what more shield region fire damage pierce this is something i really want i went for this because of the health region oh but because there's dodge chance here with speed okay we're gonna do it in that. This area has these circles just like firing on me everywhere. I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh, wow. Ah, don't kill me. That's a lot of rare enemies. Simple enough. Last one of these. There it goes. 289 productivity. And then I have these shoulders now. I have 30 level 32 shoulders on bolt. So that's a huge upgrade. Dodge from 49.6 up to 55.3. Here's dodge chance on... The other one, 58. They returned with 2,000 gold. Fantastic. Siphon the soul magic. Sure. All right, I sent them on another one of these, I guess, because I don't have anything else. Rogue armor. I need to hit 180 here. I want rogue armor. I have a bruiser armor on with no gems in it. It's got defense too. It's resistances, block efficiency. It's only level 42, probably not worth rolling. Okay, three star, curse breaker, lightning strikes, random positions. So it was a mod on it on the left here. A sovereign shout buff is applied. Okay, and I can add one mod. Underling movement speed. Whoa, okay. Oh, and I have to stay near the person. Oh, and that's definitely the lightning striking. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Okay, it's it stopped. Well, are you going to move? What are you doing? Here's the next beacon. I'm going to die out here. I think this is bugged. It could have something to do with my terrible internet. Not use a town portal. Well, that sucks. Oh, I can just try it again. I lost my mod, though. Yeah, this mission is just bugged. Headhunt with lightning strikes. There we go. Done. Easy. 338. And a bow that is... Not good. Arimon's flaming pillars take longer to light up. Okay. Rogue armor. That is definitely what they brought. Didn't give me anything great. That wasn't a bad mission to do though. I only have 10,000 gold. That's not enough to do anything. You know what? Something I want to do if I can. I want to remove this crit chance that I got. Those three points. Three points gets me to this dodge over here. Or shield regen rate. I take this projectile and see what that does. Wow. Branded burst. You gain one tenant point every two seconds up to five points reduced damage per tenant point that's good with stacking dodge you complete an active dodge anointed ammunition points is refilled it's i think the really big thing i want is this branded burst so if i go over two points here start working towards that get some dodge and movement speed and then figure out siege breaker 58 percent dodge no projects, still no money. Another Lieutenant. Another Wrath of Saracel as well. This one reduces speed each time you use using a skill. Okay, let's do this again. See what Fragments of Rage is. Throws a massive fireball that explodes into lots of fireballs. It bounces. Okay, there's no stuff in the middle of this arena. Rare Rogue Helmet. That could be good. Okay, we've got a magic enemy hey there's a rare okay yeah those split a lot it's fireballs oh here okay now a demon of souls and, oh there's some fireballs oh i got frozen no fireballs ah okay oh wow that thing sells a lot of hp uh-oh he got me and he killed me all right wow some dagger thing got thrown at me or sword thing got thrown at me no dead okay rip not that time a rogue armor again armor's almost halfway 
quick little mandate. And then back to level 50 stuff that just kind of dies. Level 51, more toughness. And then more dodge, 59.4. Found the shop guy, but I also got these circles spawning under me all the time. What is this? This is a dagger. Toxic poison chance, poison ailment damage, attack speed, agility. That's pretty cool. Uh, unique great sword. I don't have to identify everything. This is lightning stuff. Wow, that was easy. Did not bring back good stuff. No, they did not reach their destination, but still got something. Okay, pretty bad. 16k, that's enough to do one of these. Do I have enough to send these guys on this easy one? Yeah, catalyst shields, I don't need those. Another lieutenant. The last one was crazy. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, same area. Because I mean, even if I fail all of these, I'm getting level 65 loot from it when I am getting stuff. Oh, there's fireballs. Oh, I got yanked into it. And then it one shot me. Or the, the yank from the enemy here might have hurt as well. I think I got that enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever that. So what? I just get stuck. Why wasn't my. I was pushing that button. I was spamming it. Stuck still for a second. Oh, oh, the next one spawned and I already took him down quite a bit. What the heck happened to me? This is like my inputs just stopped. All right. No more tokens. I got a level. He keeps moving out of my rain of arrows. No, 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 no. Whoa. If I got, if I get hit by that sword throw, wherever it comes from, it kills me. Oh, okay. I got one off. Please go, 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 go. Oh, I got hit. No, 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 no. Okay. I healed. He's so close. He's taking damage. Die, died. Oh, he's not dead. I need to finish. Is that it? Yes. Oh, that's hard. Very hard. So level up. Idea is I'm trying not to get one shot, so increasing my health and force shield helps that. My attack speed feels pretty good right now, so going for it on toughness. Next passive point here. This is going to be really good, Lieutenant. Let's go the one with the health and get the dodge chance next time. Oh, and the one behind it's reduced damage taken per tenant points, so it'll go up to 15%. Like, that's so huge. There's so many crazy passives on this. Oh, and that's the Lieutenant fight, so I didn't get anything here or any money aside from all the loot which what do we got shoulders with dodge chance will summons health ailment chance score i mean this is just a, a win wow bat fizz damage bow yeah item level 65 okay so this is something that we fill sockets and then augment it or do i just try and re-roll it because it didn't roll flat damage on it at all this is just a level 65 bow is the real thing and they do have lots of reroll. but then what do we want to put on this because on the passive tree i haven't seen anything like of an ailment that i'm really trying to go get siege breaker down here is just health recovery on dodge i don't know that i need to spec into ailment stuff because i'm just going to be super tanky at that point because i'm going to be taking less damage these tenant points they're stacking dodge all over just gotta keep going i don't know how many levels it's going to keep giving me points but there's cool stuff on there how much gold do i have 9k not the most hit a socket reroll real quick give me at least two there we go i want the bow to be green let's put emeralds in it try and give it toxic damage i'm gonna put that one but i did so the uh, entropy orb the bow we can still hit lots of stuff oh we cracked attack no it's at the bottom we got poison ailment damage flat physical damage life leech from attack damage crit damage I want to put another one in here. I want to look the top. The physical damage is where I guess it always rolls from this, but it can definitely hit two damages. And I have a lot of these rerolls, so I think we just spam this for a second. Attack speed, bleed, no. Attack speed, no. Toxic damage, ailment chance, crit chance, resource generation. I don't know that I like that. It does make the bow green. That's crazy. I want that so bad though. Yeah, I got I got a bunch of these small green gems. We're just gonna use them. What? Offensive three is ailment damage. Poison ailment damage. I wonder if they have to be like one sockets to get the toxic damage. Because it rolled poison ailment damage again. Still has offensive three sockets. A single offensive one. No. But it keeps the socket. Nope. Toxic damage. So it did go. Ailment chance. First duration. It's not great. Definitely not great. I say keep trying. Fire damage. Poison ailment. Nope. Toxic damage. Rin damage. Material ailment. Crit damage. I mean, this one's 125 to 209 now, and it's going to be red, I guess. I mean, I wonder, though. For the weapon, there is no dice. Okay. So now we try and get better sockets on it. I don't have the most rerolls here. Offensive one, nothing. One and three. I'll have to take it and sort this. And my best gems. So this is all material. 
And the material ailment chance score is really solid, I guess, if we do material damage. Nodes. So I can add more rind, add more toxic, or add lightning, shadow, frost. I say, let's add some... Oh, no, 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 no. One of them is going to be bleed ailment damage or poison ailment damage in a three. I'm going to try and roll it again. Nothing. Okay. That costs 10,000 to remove those gems. Oh, yeah, that's where it's at. There's a reroll. Defensive three. Okay, there's another reroll. Render and more stuff. There it is. Then we add rend. We add toxic. Double down on those. Huge bow upgrade. 60.2 dodge. I have no money. Lightning strikes, exhaustion, headhunt. This has a unique as a reward, I believe. Okay, yeah, this is easy. Done. Passive dodge chance. Oh, wow. Crit chance when hitting poison enemy. Crit damage when hitting bleeding enemy. Ailment chance. Health force shield, ferocity, and some dodge chance. What? And I got a lot of gold from that. Yeah, I got 49,000. Oh, I lose dodge chance either way with this, but that's nuts. Helmet chance is 5.7, so not high, but Rare of Arrows does stack a lot of things, so it's a lot of extra crit chance and damage if it does go on the material interesting extra crit chance too though wow all right they failed their thing again got fifty thousand. we'd probably go for a, like a big upgrade wow there's a lot of these sewer renovations productivity increase max active projects that doesn't really help either the bank unlocks a stash tab this unlocks the fifth skill slot i also don't know that i'm really needing that let's get the productivity thing over halfway blood rain projectiles fall into your position it's like forcing me to keep moving in every single one of these nice and this is another just boss fight thing should be about dead oh it is good now everything else that was in here i guess Ahaha. so easy okay shield cool both done okay productivity uh wards for the throne sure oh another lieutenant let's go wow there's so many different skills this boss is gonna have so many fire pillars let's do seeds of hate okay this has a little thing in the middle well we got a huge bow upgrade last time i did one of these so it's 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 worth it to try just in case you can get a hold of a high level item precious alexandrite nice okay don't stand on those spits do they go away okay they go in a way on delay so i can trip them but they do go away after a while magic enemy down time for the rare one yeah just stands no there he went should be the end of him okay last one is an alistair Done. Definitely upgraded. Bunch more gems, bunch more items, bunch more with the gold symbol on them. Block efficiency on stuff. Max health percent. That's pretty cool. Two hand weapon damage on a ring. Dodge chance on gloves. That's better. Still health all res. Better in both fronts though. Rage cost reduction. So I find what rogue items do I have from that? Rogue chest piece. Can I reroll this? Just craft all the gear. And we weakened another skill for Iron Man. It wasn't too terrible to deal with either. Defensive one. There's resistance. We want defensive three for or shield or dodge chance defensive three sockets two all ones come on okay there's at least one dodge chances on sapphires Wrap that in there this and this now i wonder if it keeps this effect that's something i guess we'll get to find out right here craft no it did not resistances nope or shield delay reduction nope health nope or shield occult resistance come on nope nope pull down reduction health health region Material resist or shield. Ailment chance attack speed. Got 14 rerolls. Like it's gonna have to hit some dodge chance at some point. 45 dodge chance occult damage health region. Do I settle with that? Dodge can roll up to 83. And this isn't a huge list of things. Nope. 10 to go. Health. 78 with agility, elemental damage, but you know what? Sure. It's a big upgrade in force shield and in health. A little bit dodge reduction, but we're going to fix that by giving it percent dodge chance with a bunch of defensive three sockets. All right, re-roll. Defensive threes. Two defensive twos. I just, nope. It had to be threes. Okay, two, de two threes and a one. That's 16% dodge chance. Health is at 12, 5, 13, 5,000 force shield. So 6,500 force shield now, 13,000 13, life. Now defensive one is four block chance, aether res, resistances on a lot of things. How much does it take to unsocket this? 10k. I wonder what's on that. This is on crit chance at the moment. 
It's Genesis Stone. That's the next goal, I think. I have two open support ones as well. Leech, crit chance. No, no money for any of this. Mandate. Okay, so this is getting harder as Ariman goes because now there's two things. So stasis and specialist enemies spawn lower tier minions on death. Wow, this one has both stuff. It's not like it really matters. It's all about the level 65 stuff. I'm gonna pick the mandate. Kill enemies in area. First chest, nice. Level 53. All right, killed enough enemies so I can just leave this mission, looks like. And I died. Oh, and it revived me in this form because I died. Okay, there. there's a bunch more things for that. More toughness. Massive tree is branded burst. All right, tenant points are right here. So 10% less damage taken per. Next time I'll upgrade it to 15. 6,000 gold. Do anything else in there? Oh, maybe after vendoring all this. Okay, up to 17k now. I think that can upgrade me something. Okay. Raymond's after images have less base health. Base health. Sabotage. Meteor strike. Lightning strikes. Fantastic. Oh, nice. This is arena battle. It's not possible. Wow, that's a lot of lightning. I'm not keeping those tenant stacks up. Not enough dodge. Nice. Done. No. Oh, over that enemy. The character dialogue. <laughs> no, I'm. Threw me off there. Dodge chance ring. Helmet chance. Willpower regen. Oh, that I like that. No, we can do better. 13k. Okay. Okay, we got over 15. Dawn imbued wards. Sabotage. Extra enemies. Oh, 100% chances to inflict mark of impurity to the target on hit. That's my curse. I mean, sure. I guess they want things to take more damage in here. Oh, I get to do another one of these. Oh, this one's lightning. Oh, I got it. Crap. Done. Unique dagger. Hey, another map. Wealth omens. Yeah, I want that. I so wish I could knew what I could do with that. Daggers, poison chance, ailment, damage, attack speed, toxic damage. Nice. 15k again. Dampening beacons. Nope. Upgrade the shelters. A lieutenant. Okay, I'm down to go for another one. Blistering winds, fire tornado. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer the middle being open. Oh, and we get lightning strikes. Okay, that attack. Oh, don't dodge backwards during that. That lasts a really long time. Okay, I can wreck stuff. Oh, another fire tornado. There he is. Some rogue boots I can try and reroll. I have 80 dodge chance on mine. I think that's pretty high. It's the only rogue pair of stuff here I have, unless I mess with the loot filter. Rogue pants. Or another chest piece. Two chest piece. They are identical. Definitely turn those back off. Oh, the def definitely didn't hit as well as that one though. Material damage or the material ailment chance with the double material ailment. Current pants are level 40 with a 69 dodge chance. Use them on these. Okay, let's see what happens if I do this on a magic item. Just not make it rare. All right, learned about that. Dodge goes up to 83 on boots. 81. You know what? It has to happen. Force shield regenerate. All right, so I need to add a mod to this one. Is that what this does? Removes. Oh, and adds another. So I could gamble it. You know what? Let's do it. Oh, of course it bricked it. Why wouldn't it? 40. Material damage attack speed. No. You know what? We'll try the other pair. Nope. 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 Health regen, no. No, four skills weakened. Over 75% of the way there. I want Onslaught. Well, this stuff dies so easily. I keep summoning a bunch of these, though. Oh, and then they kill me. Oh, but it has this ability. Another one down. And then a Demon of Souls. And yeah, that's dead. Oh, we're not done still? There we go. All three projects finished. Two entropy orbs. That's two more rolls on boots. Nope. Movement speed, material res, dodge chance. Okay, this time we'll hit it with the tier. It can add attack speed, regenerate, agility, stamina point. Let's go. 45 health regen. That's solid. I'll take it. 62.1. My resistances are nothing. Healing upgrade. Sure. Level 54. Attributes. Health. I think it's probably better for me to get the as much dodge chance as I have access to this node. It's probably more important than this extra damage. I don't keep that up as often as I'd like. So that means we more, need more dodge. 62.5. All done. First breaker with a unique. Oh, one of these. Is this going to work now? There we go. Cool. Yeah, there's so many beetles out here, though. I died out there. Oh, I turned into this form when I die, though. And I can just pop out of it now. Oh, give me that gold. Yeah. 
Look at all that gold. I want that. Serial regions? Yes, please. What? Did it teleport me way over here? There's nowhere close to where I am. Oh, 37,000 gold. I think maybe going after the beetles is probably worth it's just a little bit sketch only have one more revive so i might only get one more chance if that one more let's go all right beetle back here and it's gonna run I'm gonna stop and then i'm gonna hit it nope ah okay okay it let me keep the revive because of this ability don't use the movement ability because it bricked me this final beacon was a long way away from all the others we went from all the way down here all the way up here if you get outside that bubble though she is screaming at you unique physical damage converted to lightning poor shield leech from lightning 15 percent passive dodge chance or shield losing flat to all of my material i don't know i don't think so i have 75k now more productivity cost 50k do that and another one of these dampening beacons we got a lieutenant okay which one this time veins of madness sure i don't think i need to be worried about it at all at this point i think i'm gonna go in this boss and i'm gonna kill it <laughs> rogue pants hey that's a upgrade possibility good first thing that thing does is gonna charge yeah i let the sniper get me oh i get to switch to this form okay oh it, no i gotta revive actually this time it did transform me again oh and then i died because i don't know how to move on this form thing get me out of it get me out of it z button turned off like this game for real that's ridiculous that's just dumb come on now i'm still stuck in this form ah uh Quit the game. Relaunch. Okay. I restarted the game. I have 60 attribute points. What? Put it all in the toughness. Okay. Do a headhunt. It'd be easy. Yep. It's dead. All right. Out. Only 263. Oh, I do still have these pants. Okay. That's cool. We upgrade another piece of gear, maybe. Okay. So reroll pants. Nope. 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 Okay. We'll hold on to them. Sabotage. Double skill damage for the next skill after an active dodge. Cool. Cool. It's one of these. Halfway. And then it goes to another shield. Okay. And we're done. Unique rope boots. No on these boots. Okay. Up to 85 productivity. Delay sleeper elites. Sure. Oh, another lieutenant. Furious embrace. Stasis. Aspect of apocalypse. Mark of impurity. Should be easy. Level 55. I don't know that I can put that in during this. Let's get the toughness. And what about this? Uh, I don't know that I can do that. It's too much thought. Oh, that ability. Okay. Height window to dodge that one. Oh, okay. It didn't hurt that bad. Okay, last one. Slayer Exoskeleton. Okay, this thing is doing different abilities than I've seen. Got lightning bolts, lightning strikes, big AoE things. On top of the lightning strikes that are just in the arena. Oh, lightning everywhere. Should be dead. Yeah, these big lightning strikes. Oh, they didn't get off. Heavy chest piece. Rogue boots. Okay, this passive point. And then here's an 8% dodge. Do I do that? I want to remove these life leech points. Minus 15 ferocity. For, so that's 4 points. Attack damage. Oh, confirm. This 7% projectile damage can go. And then we get 8% damage here. 8% damage here. 5% health. 5% health, health regen. Damage for shield. And then... Stamina region. Okay, confirm. I need to pull something. I'll take this region rate. I want to connect to this. Remove the 5% in lieu of the 8. And then I start working towards Siege Breaker. Put the stamina region back. I think I don't need the rage conservation time either. Okay, take this dodge chance in stamina region. Need more passive points. And let's go for an onslaught. I can put area mods on this one. Movement speed. Movement speed. Specialist health. Enemies occult resistance. Oh, let's give them more health. Good. This is just a arena thing. Hey, a demon of souls. I feel like I'm seeing the same enemies a lot. Like they're just art isn't quite the enemy variety to match the level of depth there appears to be in the character creation. I mean, there's the abilities on the enemies. The, the, like, that's more of an issue than what the enemies are doing at this point. Not enough room in my inventory. Okay. Oh, I got more 65 stuff. Alt region. No. This says picking up a globe generates 400 rage. Globes explode in AoE when they're picked up and deal 1,000 weapon damage. Big Alras health region pretty nuts wow they came back with a lot of stuff they came back with a lot of gold and another map thing i'm constructing the bank expensive but oh this is eight thousand. i need just a little bit more 
We'll send him on that one. Onslaught. Oh, I haven't seen one of these tainted primordial guardians in a minute. Oh, it's dead. Treasure map. Okay. Another fiend full. Dead. And that one died in the same cast of the skill. All right. Chest three is open. I need 20k gold to unlock number two. Okay, another tab. And then just refreshing the shop. Okay, let's get battle against the flesh. Oh, it's almost there. So hopefully this is the last one of these I have to do. All done. Okay, we are there. The battle for the survival of humanity is here within Stormfall's walls themselves. The fury arises among the flames of impending slaughter. Ariman has come. Let me empty my inventory. Okay, let's do this. I got all kinds of buffs and effects and things you can build up for this. I honestly think this is about to be really easy. Oh, I get to use the Hellion thing. All right, we gotta protect the Dragon Egg. And they are ready for battle. Let's go. Okay, there's a bubble here. Increase block chance. There's a trade shrine. Destroy portals. Okay, done. Teleport me back. Oh, launch the event. Okay, there's an event thing. This portal. Almost got it with one rain of arrows. One down. And it teleports me back to the beginning. And I got level. Get more health. And then the next point here goes down this way. Red portal. 14,000 off. Okay, another red portal. All right, this one's more orange. Okay, grenades got that one. Okay, now what? Oh no, something in the palace. Let's go. Will it? Oh, I forgot about them. Oh boy. Yeah, let's go. Go. All right, I got these bubbles. Drop some mines on him. Do another rain of arrows. Mines. Another rain of arrows. More mines. Got him like a, a third of the way down. Okay, he moved over here. Okay, did I just one shot that thing? Is it dead? I think I might have only 300k left. Oh, you're gonna do another one? Okay. Here we go. Did they just instantly die? Oh, well, he's about to die. Oh, you're gonna make me fight them now? Okay. Fight. The blind prince is with us now. I'll show you the power he brings. Oh, you show me that power, buddy. One down. The both of them. Hey, Hamlock, use the Hellion. Suck Armin out. And Valeria. I guess we're gonna save them in the process. Oh, a new fight. Wow, this is a tight little window. Whoa, beam skill. Okay, easy enough. Let's just took it a lot of a lot of fire what you just use all the skills you have at once at the end okay he's still just standing there taking damage oh beams almost there there we go all right what's happening now oh laria took him out oh Heimlax fighting too took off a hand okay I took the sword to him and is that it he fell into the ground okay so they are adopted check on egg i might get to the egg okay we got credits well, that was fun. Um, I think I want to try it again and do the boss fight with none of those buffs and see if it's still just as easy with the character I built. There still seems like there's a lot that I could do to progress the character. Um, the unique, rare, and magic enemies are starting to get repetitive at this point. And there's been a handful of bugs, just random stuff here and there. But I've also heard it's better playing offline than playing online, which I have done. And I don't have the greatest internet, so you never know how how much of the issues I have playing game are related to that. So it'll be fun to run it back, keep making my character broken. I feel like I'm going to be immortal if I'm getting life on dodge. I want to know if I get loot from the fight too. And I know it almost kind of left a cliffhanger for potentially more stuff to come with the egg. So there might be more after the credits. I'm definitely glad I came back and checked it out again rather than this game just kind of getting lost in the Diablo 4 Path of Exile 2 string of games that we've got coming up. It definitely still feels like you can make your character pretty broken in the game. But it seems pretty balanced, I'd say, from what I've seen on the passive tree um, and what I was able to do with just the two skills that I was using. I can unlock a new skill slot and then start using the others and eventually make it even crazier, but pretty much destroyed that. I still don't know what to do with the map things. I got so many of those map things now. Maybe it'll show me what I can do with those next. Voice acting was really good in the game and very present throughout. The only thing I really didn't like is the ring aura mission or one time it didn't work and every time you step out of there she's just constantly non-stop get back in the circle kind of thing when there's definitely intriguing things to go after outside of the ring with those beetles being out there only time i've really had much access to those beetles maybe those are something that show up more in 
apps. I don't know. Thinking all the Kickstarter backers in the credits. The music appears to have stopped as well. Oh, I didn't even push any buttons in it. Push me back. Okay, talk to Damascus. The original Tempest. I wonder if that's something I need to remember. Something that we're building to now. Okay, the Dragon Rider guy. Now, speak with Thunderblade Zala here. Okay, Inquisitor left. Okay, Gernice. He wants me to convince Valeria to stay in the city. Say goodbye to Valeria. Yep, still missing an arm. All right, she doesn't want to stay. And back to cutscenes. She's going off on a dragon. Wait, why does he have a dragon? Hopefully that's not the dragon. Okay, right. then it launched me back to the lobby. I've unlocked Champion of Stormfall. I've beaten the campaign. Champion of Stormfall is not the game mode. 80 passive points here. It's like not saving the my attribute ones when it's logging me out of the game. So I'll have the I have five of these map things. What is in here? Oh, okay all right so now there's some stuff to upgrade so it makes it'd probably be fine for me to go at it without doing any of these and try and upgrade my city Two hundred thousand gold interact lab great diamond tools okay this is for the duplicates of skills okay there's missions with osharis council buying prices at merchants permanently decreased and selling prices increased seems good primordial institute west Fifth skill slots. That's the one I could already get. This one, primordial essence meter permanently increased. So that's the summon. And this one is two passive points, I think. So there's the ship. Okay. Go after some armor skins here. Okay. Salt baths. Permanent magic find boost costs a million gold. 200,000 of the essence or the affinity. Trade assembly diplomatic missions. Permanent gold find boost. Okay, and this is the other aspect of Apocalypse token for the last upgrade. Convert gold into Primordial Affinity, and probably the other way around. Yep, and I don't have money. All right, War Table. What's here now? Sumables. Treasure Map. Instances. Okay, so there's a difficulty thing we have to level up. We can start at 10. Okay, Dungeon with a higher amount of chests. Uh... I don't know that I want that one. Wealth omens. That's the one I want. Area mods. Not movement speed. Ailment damage resistance. Specialist crowd control duration. Champion damages aether. Sure. All res from enemies. All percent. Sure. And I can't get another one. Back out of it and it just went away. All right. I think I lost all the things. Rip money. All right. Let's go. I want to see what this is. Well, this is only level 10 stuff. Oh, well, that might not be super great. I mean, it still dropped a lot of gold. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, chipped stuff. I'm up 7k gold, though. Or only 5k, technically. Oh, so I'm forced to do level 10. I gotta level it up. So this is the greater rift thing, I think. What I'm probably working on here. Okay, and then we leave here. So if I take this, it's adept. So I have to get skulls. Okay, I can just kill them with the blade throw. Okay, that's done. Okay, so this replays some of the, oh, I guess, like the Act 4 missions from here. Harder difficulty, better rewards. Level 13 unlocked. So yeah, it goes up, but I gotta keep chugging away at it. It's gonna be grindy until I just unlock higher difficulties. Okay, well, I think that will be the focus of next time then. Um, still a lot of stuff to explore. I'm excited because I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. But that is all I've got for this one. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please and series and the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.